Oh my gosh, it's another one. Ugh. Okay, I don't have a Timu problem. I have a husband who has a birthday in June and a lot of this stuff is for him. Well, not a lot, but some. And uh, the prices are starting to go up, so I went ahead and bought some things that I was like, well, I'll try it out. I placed a big craft order, which that video should already be out. And then I placed another order, which is uh, mostly household items, some gifts, uh, stuff like that. There are some craft things in here. Um, and this order was sent for some reason in two separate packages. It's not even my biggest order, so I don't know why it got sent in two separate packages, but it did. So this is the first package. I'm still waiting on the second. Um, I'm kind of curious if I don't get the second one by the last day, because I think tomorrow is the, the last day to get this order. Like if you don't get the second package, but you got the first, does it count? Or do you get the five bucks? I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna find out. I'll let you know uh, when I get the package. The last time my package was late, they took care of it immediately. They were like, sorry, it's late, here's your money. And then I got my package the next day. Uh, okay, so here's the package. I'm gonna open it, but I'm gonna set it off to the side because A, it's very dirty. It's really dusty where I live. Uh, it's very dirty and I don't really want it sitting on my desk very long. So I'm gonna move this and then I'll start bringing things into the camera. Okay, to start out, I'm gonna do the craft haul because this is a craft channel. So if you just wanna see the craft stuff, you can see the craft stuff and then you can skedaddle out of here if you want. But before you do, hit that thumbs up if you don't stay for the whole thing for me, okay? Because then at least I get the thumbs up, which means YouTube is like, okay, this is valuable content to someone. And then maybe I'll get more views on my stuff and then it'll go out to more people. And then I'm not sure what happens. I don't know what happens when you win the YouTubes, uh, but I think it'd be kind of neat to find out. So uh, first things first, I got this, they call it a stationary bag, but it's like a pencil case. But here's what's funny. I got one in this gray color and one in like a greenish gray color. They shipped them both separately. So the other bag has the other color. So strange. So this I got so that I can see what's in it. So one of the problems that I have is like right now, this is my case for my pencils, my sketching pencils and my drawing liners. And I know what's in here because I've always kept them in here. But I always kind of forget, I'm like, oh yeah, what's in the front pocket? Oh, it's a mechanical pencil and drawing graphite, right. What's in here, I don't remember. Oh, it's a little tiny notebook and a pencil sharpener. There used to be an eraser in there, I thought. Um, no, the eraser's right here. So. I can't see what's in here. Well, now I have all sorts of different pens and pencils and liners for different purposes. And so I really want, uh, I really wanted a pencil case where I can put things in and say, oh, those are my Micron liners or those are my Uni liners, whatever. So, uh, so I got two of these, but again, one's coming in a different package. Uh, this says he chooses. Uh, Okay, um, I'm not sure what he's choosing. A pencil, that's what he's choosing. Um, the next thing that I got is the washi tape. Um, while I have you here, before I open this washi tape, don't forget there is a Facebook group now that we can all post our bad art on. You can join the How Fast Crafters Club if you want to be a cool half-ass crafter, you can join our club. Um, it's not really a club, it's just a Facebook group. So you should join though because I post things that I do that I don't video and other people post things and their stuff's way better than mine. So y'all should totally come check it out. Um, I might even try to organize a swap Probably not until it gets cold because I am way too busy in the summer doing things outside. Um, okay, so I got this washi tape because again, I think I said in my last video, I don't actually have long or you know wide washi tape. 
So I wanted some that was, um, and then I did see this on a bunch of haul videos and I like the, the gold foiling on the butterfly. Can you see that? Come on camera, get with it. Get with the program, Apple. Oh, and there's some on these little daisies too. Cool. Yeah, I like that. I was really looking forward to that because I wanted to see it. I saw it on two separate haul videos and I was like, oh, I want to see what mine looks like. Because, you know, it never looks the same on video as it does everywhere else. Um, so I also mentioned in my other haul video that I have a bunch of sea themed like accessories, but not like big papers um, from other kits that I bought. And so I bought some sea themed papers. Um, I think there's 24 sheets. I don't remember. But I got these so that I can make backgrounds um, and use some of my sea accessories. So my whole, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a master board with these as the main background. And then I'll add the, all the little bits and bobs that I got. If you want to see some of those, I got some of those in my last video too. Um, yeah, I like this. It's not really my style, but because I have all that sea, the whales and moons and water and space and stuff, I just, I don't know, I kind of think that that'll be neat. That almost looks a little steampunkish. That's cool. Okay, cool. Well, that's exciting. I like those papers. Um, okay, and then the next thing I got was I got some more fabric. So I ordered little squares. They, they're they just under 10 inches. I got it basically to make burp cloths. Um, they kept running out of this print though. And so when the print came up for bigger squares, I got it um, because my son likes raccoons and this has raccoons on it. And I want to make this for his baby, for my granddaughter. So um, I think maybe I'll just make burp cloths. Actually, this is the perfect size for burp cloths. Oh, and that's cute anyway. Um, yeah, so maybe I'll just make little burp cloths. You know, I'll put a little piece of flannel on the back. Um, I did watch a haul video and somebody asked the quality of the fabric. She was like, maybe I want to get some fabric. And I was like, eh. But this, so this fabric said that it was twill. I mean, is it a twill weave? Yes. Um, is it better than, I think it's the same as the other one. I actually feel like this might actually be a bit thicker than the other one that I received. It is a poly blend though. It may be 100% poly. I would have to get a lighter out and I don't want to do all of that. Um, but if it's a poly blend and you burn the threads, they will melt. If it's got cotton, they will burn. That's how you tell. But this is definitely a poly blend, I think. I mean, maybe it's 100% cotton, but I don't think it is. But it's decent quality if you're gonna make like burp claws or whatever. Um, the next thing I got was this. So again, I watched somebody else's haul video and I had been seeing these and I was like, I don't know what I would do with it. And then she was like, I put all of my colored pencils in here and look, they're amazing. And I was like, oh, that's really cool because that's all of my colored pencils. And this is what I have to do if I want a pencil is I have to start digging and digging and digging and digging and digging. And I think there's 120 Prismacolor pencils in there. So I got the 120 slot here um, and I plan to, oh, that's cute. I plan to put all of my pencils in here. So set that over there. So this is, man, I'm still impressed with the quality I know their prices are going up and that's cool. Um, but, cause I get it, right? I mean, that's how a capitalist society works. Uh, but I am impressed with the quality. The stitching here is a little wacky, but I'm not worried about it. Yeah. And then let's put, I'll put a pencil in 
Because does it work? We don't know. Let's find out. Does it work? Can you put a pencil in there? You can put a pencil in there. Ta-da! Look at that. You could put two pencils in there if you wanted. Nice. Those are a little different. Oh, that's because this is not a... What is this? Sivo Vivid. I didn't even know I had that. I don't even know what that is. Huh. I seem to have mixed my pencils together. But anyway. So yeah. So I'll put pencils in. And then there's like... I bet these are for erasers or highlighters or whatever. Yeah. And I like the dragonflies and the butterflies. And it's blue. Yes, y'all know me. Okay. The next thing I got was watercolor paper. Um, so again, I watched a haul video from a lady who was a watercolor artist. And I don't remember. So I just get these Timu videos in my feed. And um, I just watch them. So I don't really pay attention. Sorry. Uh, so the beautiful thing is there is a little loop here so you could put your watercolor brush or more likely you could put a pencil, although not that pencil, but maybe a pen. Um, but the lady said, whoa, she's right. This is really nice quality paper. Holy smokes. This is actual watercolor paper. Okay, you know how like you go to a store that isn't an art store and you pick up a, and it's like watercolor pad and you're like, okay, it's just thick copy paper. No, this is actual thick watercolor paper. Can you see how thick that is? Like that's a sheet of paper. It's not, and it's got like a nice texture to it. Wow. For five bucks? Yes. Okay, I may have to go add another one of these to my cart before they go up in price. And I love that. So there, there's actually, there's one store that has these all over. And then there is another store that has these five by five ones. Um, and they have better covers, I think. So if you want the link to that, put a comment below and I will link you that uh, specific one. So if it's still available, if it's not, I'll link you the closest one or I'll tell you what the, the store name is. So the next thing I got was someone mentioned this marker paper. And again, she was an artist and she was like, uh, this marker pad is actually fabulous. And I have bought every marker pad on the market. Okay. That was not meant to be a joke, but I have bought every marker pad known to man. Um, oh yeah, this paper is like, whoa. Okay. Hang on. Okay. So this is a very expensive pad of marker paper. Um, it's 108 pound. I don't know. This is 250 grams. This of course doesn't tell me how many grams it is. Uh, so this is super smooth and is great for markers. This is not as smooth as this, I will tell you that, but it almost feels like Yupo paper. Hmm. Well, it says it's recyclable, so it's gotta be paper. But it almost feels like Yupo paper. It almost feels plasticky. Um, super smooth. I am highly impressed and the pages are also really thick as well. So yeah, I'm impressed with that. <sighs> okay. So the final two things for the craft haul. Remember, if you leave after the craft haul, please just give me a thumbs up. That's our, that's our trade off. That's our compromise, me and you. You can leave. It's fine. But I just want to ask if you just give me that thumbs up. Um, or leave me a comment. So the next thing I got was I got, um, I believe this is warm press. I think this is warm press. And then I have cold press coming in the other bag. I feel like they went through my order and they were like, okay, she's got two of something. So let's, let's just 
mix it up on her. So the other bag has the other stuff in it. When will I get the other bag? I don't know. It all shipped at the same time also, which was a little weird. And no, I did not have any pre-order things in there. Um, so I don't know. I did have an order with pre-order things and it got to me a little early. So whatever. I don't know how the, I don't know how the magic works. So again, someone uh, wanted the Bao Hong paper and she mentioned it in her, whoa, it's pink. Is it pink? No, it's okay. This first page is pink. Yeah. Okay. She mentioned it in her haul and she was like, I've always wanted to try it. So they have it for really cheap. It's way cheaper than Amazon. Uh, yeah, that's, that's really nice. And I have some arches, which I'm sure it's probably pronounced in some fancy French way. Um, I have this arches paper, which is a cold press. So it's very, um, textured, which I didn't actually want. I wanted the warm smoother texture paper. Um, this is 300 gram, uh, 140 pound. This is 300 gram, but it doesn't have the pound on it. But this is, this is solid. This is totally on par with this. I do need to make sure that you know that I am not a watercolor professional. I dabble in watercolors and I appreciate staring at other people's watercolor pictures. Um, but I'm not good at it yet. It's one of those things that I just keep trying and trying and trying and trying and trying and uh, hope that one day it will magically happen. But, you know, I kept at this horse thing and magically that's happened. So I think if I just keep watercolor painting magically it will happen so uh again here's the protective sheet i'm gonna take off but i'm not throwing that away i'll use it wow that's so nice like oh i can't wait to use my new watercolors on it i'm so excited look i have my new watercolors right here oh this is gonna be so much fun okay we're gonna have to do a watercolor wednesday okay so I promise you I will do a watercolor Wednesday and we'll use Timu products. Okay. If you want to leave, this is it. I'm going to show all of the household stuff. It's like clothes and gifts and presents for my kids and grandkids and stuff like that. Um, so if you're interested in like other things that are not the craft materials or the craft supplies, stick around and we'll talk about it. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to put this off to the side because this is like farm tool stuff, um, which gets me very excited. Uh, I just bought a lawn tractor and I went and mowed my, we call it the back 40, but it's really just the side yard. It's like maybe half an acre. Um, but I went and mowed it and I was like, I'm a farmer or whatever. I'm a rancher, I guess. Uh, okay, so the first things are, I got these, so as you can see, I got a lot of clothes. Um, I'll explain the clothes in just a second. So, I got these little pins. So my, I went to my son's and daughter-in-law's, my son and daughter-in-law's house to meet their new baby, my new granddaughter. And I found out that his wife collects, my daughter-in-law collects enamel pins. And I hope they don't watch my videos. I mean, I don't think they do. I think they think I'm just like a crazy old lady doing craft videos. But uh, I got a little elf guy for my daughter-in-law because she's born on St. Patrick's Day. And he looks like a little leprechaun. And I got uh, a little mushroom for my son. Uh, they are also both well he more than her but they are both video game nerds no idea where my son got that me it's me he got it from me uh but so i thought those were really cute and the mushroom one kept selling out so it finally came in and i was like all right i'm making this order 
Um, okay, so what I got was, I got a couple of pairs of shorts and a couple of pairs of pants. Um, so there's like a natural progression in life. If you are under 40, you probably will not believe what I'm about to tell you, but once you hit 40, you just go to Costco and you're like, you know what, I'm just gonna buy these $7 shorts because um, I don't really care. And I need comfortable clothes with an elastic waistband. So I ordered uh, big baggy shorts with an elastic waistband. Uh, this is an extra large, which they said was a 12. I am, I'm anywhere from an eight to a 12. It all depends on the manufacturer and how it's made. Um, so, but I like things to be big anyway. So I ordered up on everything. I think there's one thing I didn't because everybody said it's a little big, stick to your size. Uh, these are definitely polyester. So this is the other thing. I know that some of this is not gonna be cotton or it's all gonna be a blend. Um, I'll be surprised if anything I got was 100% cotton. These are definitely not 100% cotton, but I bought them to lounge around the house or go work outside. Cause like I said, I just bought a lawn tractor. I was very excited and I have tools. Um, you know, you're a real horse girl or horse lady when you go and do horse chores in flip flops and shorts and you're no longer putting on your big old boots in the middle of summer. Cause you're like, nah, screw that too hot. So I got these shorts. They're very soft. They're kind of silky feeling. They're definitely a poly, polyester, maybe even rayon. Um, hopefully they won't get too hot, but also it's pretty cool here. Even when it's hot, it's still pretty cool. So these are also a blend. Um, these are like pants, but they are like short pants. But a lot of people said that they were really comfortable to like go on trips in, like to fly. Uh, and I think that that's why I bought two pairs because I was getting ready to go to Oklahoma when I bought them. And I was like, oh, I don't have anything to wear on the plane. I wish I had plain clothes, not P-L-A-I-N, like bland clothes, but like airplane clothes. Um, so I got, yeah, hundred percent polyester. So yeah, these are polyester. Will I wear them? I don't know. They were like eight bucks, I think. Um, wow, this has like gold. It's kind of metallic-y and shimmery. That's neat. So is the blue. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I'll wear them around the house and if I like them, great. If I don't, then I will, um, I usually donate them to uh, a shelter or the Humane Society thrift store. So we'll see. Uh, and then I got these pants, which were like $11. And now that I look at them, I think they might be $11 because I think they might be a poly cotton blend. Nope, they're 100% polyester, but they are definitely, ooh, they are see-through. Look at that. Don't wear your dark underpants under these. Um... So again, I just bought these to wear around the house. These are like lounging around the house clothes, not, not going to the Costco in these clothes. I'll wear my Costco clothes to go to Costco. Uh, and then this is another pair of those shorts. Again, they're like a silky polyester. They don't have tags, of course. Um, they do look a little big but they have the drawstring at least. We'll see. Um, all my clothes, I'm pretty picky about clothes. Just ask my mother. She will roll her eyes and say, Lord, yes, that child is picky about her clothes. Um, all right, and then I got, now this is, okay, this is awesome. I was hoping that this was a, a poly cotton blend t-shirt. Oh, it might just be poly. So the thing with polyester is polyester is plastic. So A, it melts. That's why children's sleepwear can't be polyester. And B, it doesn't really shrink. Um, and it doesn't breathe because, well, it's plastic. 
So I got this in an extra large and I should have gotten a large. Um, so, you know, I ride horses and stuff. Um, but I was born in 78, so I thought this would be fun. The, so this is a vinyl transfer. It's not screen printed. Um, my husband does screen printing and I think he would balk at me wearing this. I also think after about five or six washes, this is going to be peeling off. But I'll wear it around the house and I'll wear it out mucking and maybe it will shrink a little. Maybe there's some cotton in there. I don't think there is. Wait, here we go. I'll tell you. You ready? Oh no, there's 35% cotton. So it will shrink a little. Okay. Not much, but it will shrink a little. All right. Um, and then the final piece of clothing is this. So again, did I get the extra large? No, I, okay, so I got the large. Whew. Because I was like, wow, this is big too. So this is big, but it's not too big. So again, this is a vinyl, you know, like you would do your cry cut vinyl transfer. It's just like an, a heat press vinyl. So that means after you wash it for a while, it's gonna start cracking. It's gonna start peeling off. Um, so this is the same blend. Uh, it is 60 poly, 35 cotton, 5 spandex. But again, I got this just to do horse chores in. So I'm not, you know, it was like $4. All of this stuff is basically what you pay at Goodwill for the same type of clothes. Uh, the next things I got was I got Please Close Gate Horses um, because we're about to put our, we're going to have to separate our horses. So I need to put signs up to let people know please close the gates uh so that's fun i do have another one that says keep gate closed no matter what the horse tells you uh so that'll be fun that one's gonna go on the main gate uh this little guy i was afraid he might be broken and he may be so let's Let's find out if he's broken or just snapped out of place. Oh, he's just snapped out of place, I believe. So this little guy is a cell phone stand. So you would just like take your cell phone and put it like that. It was 68 cents. Uh, I got it as a gag gift for my husband for his birthday um, to put on his little desk. I thought it'd be cute. Um, okay, another thing that I got for my husband for his birthday is these record coasters. So my son got them and he was like, mom, that's our favorite thing that we got are these vinyl coasters. Um, and they actually feel like a real true record. So give me a second because that's hilarious. Oh my God, these are so good. I wonder if you can actually play them on a record player. I can tell you right now, my husband's gonna try. Oh, this is funny. Rest on me, the nostalgics. Protect the surface, the nostalgics. Cover and protect the nostalgics. No marks on the table, the, nost the nostalgics. Tea time, don't spill this, the nostalgics. Uh, too hot to handle. That's cute. So I think my husband's gonna love these. Okay, they say there's also bookends and a bowl available. If I could find those on Timu, I might order them as well. Uh, okay, so those little things for my husband. Um, and then I got this. So I used to work at a Hallmark store and Hallmark stores are independently owned, they're franchised. And so you could sell whatever. And the owners there sold this manicure kit you know, it was just like this cheapy dollar store, you know, quality manicure kit. But man, I kept, and I still have a piece of that kit because it worked so well. It was a cuticle pusher. Um, and then I couldn't really find any more. But this, if I can figure out how to open it. Oh, you push that latch. So this is a whole manicure kit. Wow, 
don't put your hand on that blade. It's a big blade, Jesus. Oh my gosh. So, I don't know what kind of manicuring you're doing. Wow, it's got these tweezers and these tweezers. What are you doing? This is like a little crowbar. What are you getting at? Oh my gosh, it's got, it's like a dental pick. Oh, it's got a little cuticle pusher. It's got two of them. It's got an industrial one and a light one. Maybe it's his and hers. Um, and then it's got nail clippers. So I got this. Uh, I was going to potentially give it to my husband. I wanted to see what the quality was like first to see if he would even, you know, care to use it. Um, but yeah, it's really cute. I think he'll like it and he can put it in his suitcase. And it's even got these like corn and callus blades. It looks scary, but do you see these big blades? Yeah, man, that is like, that'll take care of somebody. That seems, that's actually pretty nice though, to be honest. It's a padded vinyl, that's pretty nice. I'm, I'm not mad at that. Um, he's turning 47 and he jokingly said, are you getting me 43, 47 things from Timu? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, the case, 25, the protective cover. Maybe I will get him. And there's six on that, so that's 31, 32. This is just 32 items right there. Maybe I will end up getting him 47 items for his birthday. Uh, the next thing I got was, this was a complete impulse buy, okay? I got a railroad crossing sign. I don't know why. I'm not into railroads. I'm not into model trains. But I wanted it because it's grungy. It's got a lot of good texture on it. And I wanted to hang it up in my shop. With my other with my other signs. Um, ooh, I'll put a little picture here so that you can see one of my signs. With all of Leon's pretty blue ribbons. So, yeah. Uh, the 10 signs I have to say I'm pretty impressed with from Timu. So, that's why I've ordered so many. They, they're pretty decent quality. They're clear. I like them. Um, okay. The next thing I have is, oh, this is for my husband as well. Wow. I really did buy him a lot of things, didn't I? So this is made of iron and it is our sixth wedding anniversary, which is iron. And he got me somehow he found an iron thing and I was like, well, do you want an iron skillet? Um, he didn't seem to think that that was great and funny. Um, so I found this iron wind chime bell. I also have one in my cart for me as well right now. Um, but I haven't bought it because I wanted to see what this one's like. So it's really pretty. The reviews were really good about it too. And it is actual iron. So... Cool. He'll like that. He wants more things that he can put up at his house because my house is pretty and he wants his house to be pretty too. All right. And then the next thing, okay. So look, I have watched a couple of Timu hauls about their tools and it's basically like, nah, it kind of sucks. So I'm not holding my breath on any of this stuff, but, um, I can't even get into this, so I'm going to say don't buy it. Bad juju. I can't even open it. I don't even know, like, how you... You got to pull on that, but I really want to push it. So maybe I do push it. No, you don't push it. Okay. Maybe I need that blade from the, uh... From the manicure kit. Okay, there we go. So, these are little these are little it's a little set of you put it in your drill and it helps you to get out any stripped screws um, and I actually have a couple of stripped screws that I can't get out so I'm gonna try these heck yeah I am 
Those are not in the correct order, but that's okay. So I'll try those. Yeah. Uh, and then the next thing I got was a rotary tool because I've always wanted a Dremel, but I will not pay that money for a Dremel, which is silly because don't let me tell you how much I've paid on horses. Um, but this was $14.99. Oh, you know what? It was $14.99 and then it went down like $3 and they gave me that money back. So don't forget to keep checking uh, and doing a price adjustment for the full 30 days that you can. You can do it multiple times. If the price keeps going down, you can get more money back. So if it was $2 and it goes down to a dollar, you get that dollar back. If it goes down to 50 cents, you get another 50 cents back. So they will let you do that. Um, so this feels like pretty good quality. It's got a little rocker switch. This feels incredibly light to be, and there's a piece of, a drop of glue on it. Um, this feels incredibly light to be an AC adapter. Um, I would worry about the switch inside. Probably wouldn't leave this plugged in, I can tell you that. Uh, and then it just comes with this bag of things. So I don't even know what all is in here. I think I would just, I'm just going to put all this in my shop. And then if I'm like, oh, I wish I had a Dremel, I'll be like, I do have a Dremel. Uh, Cause there are moments in time where I'm like, oh, you know, if we had a Dremel, we could really solve this problem fast. So, and then there's some little sanding ones. Wow. So it's nice. I mean, you get, it's a good little kit. So, you know, if none of this works out at all, I would probably ask for a refund, especially for $15. Um, I think these were like, eight. These I think will be a fine. I think these will serve their purpose. But even if this only helps me, you know, ease the burden a little on a task, that's, it's worth 15 bucks, man. So I don't know. I'll let you know if it, if it totally stinks, if you're interested, ask me and, uh, and I can, I can follow up with you and let you know if any of this stuff's any good. Um, yeah, so that's it. That's all the stuff. Uh, there's another box coming. I'll do another haul video when that box gets here. It's, I guess it's about the same amount of stuff. I don't know. All right. Well, don't forget to hit that like button. I really, really would appreciate it if you could do that. Subscribe if you keep watching my videos because they're coming up in your homepage and you're, you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. That would be super useful. Um, I've been debating about having some sort of giveaway when I hit a thousand subscribers but I don't know what the giveaway would be because I don't want to just make it for U.S. residents. Um, so hit that subscribe button. And if you have an idea for a giveaway that you think is neat for a thousand subscribers or any number, let me know. Um, yeah, and I'll, I got at least one more haul video coming and we'll see you then. Bye.